Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Gummy Worm Jim. Welcome to Blasphemous. This is a um, pixel art Metroidvania game with apparently a very deep atmosphere that I am excited to explore. I don't really know too much about what to expect. I've seen the uh, trailer for this and I immediately was like, oh, I want to play that, but I didn't know, you know. I still don't know really what the main story is or what's going to happen, so let's jump in. It is not the sun rising, but our sins. Alright, fair enough. Because it is my guilt, I claim the grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Oh no. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. Shake my Jeez. chest once again. Ah! Whoa. Brutal. Okay, the vibration is still is still enabled. But that's whatever, I guess. Um, okay. Did she turn to stone? It, oh, oh! Oh, that's... That's gotta be blasphemous. <laughs> Guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Okay. Is sometimes that like in the form of blessing and grace? Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like That's it's kind of like the Pandora's way. box moment. Equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. Okay. The shit humans do to each other, man. We are a wild species. What's going on down here? Ooh! I love the setting. I love the pixel art. I don't even mind the vibrations all over the place. Whoa, dude. Whoa! Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. Left bumper. Okay. Okay, I'm awake, kind of. Oh! Ooh! Press LB to consume one of your biliary flasks and recover vitality. These consecrated flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pre dieu Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. Okay. Gotcha. I usually like to take a take a left first just to see what's Okay, this is my jump. Do I have a double jump? Nope. This is my slash. I have an up slash. Do I have airs? Okay, it looks like just just stare and up air. There is no dare. Um oh, right bumper seems to be a deflect. Oh, that's right. That's that's the heel. Okay. Right trigger is slide. Gotcha. Alright, let's go. I think I'm ready. Dude, I love the art style. It's beautiful. I know how to jump. Thank you very much. Okay, we got some uh, classic shiz. Wait, can I go up there? How do I get up there? Okay, I guess I don't. <clears throat> Dude, the art is beautiful in this so far. Press Y to rest at the pre dieu Pre-dieu. Saving your game and refilling your health and flasks. Upon death, you will respawn at the last visited pre-dieu. Resting will cause enemies to respawn. Okay, good to know. Okay. 
sick. Dude, this is like... It's like if Castlevania had some of the gnarliest art you've ever seen. I love this character design, too. The weird cone head hat is actually very cool. What the fuck is that? Oh, God! What the fuck is that? Warden of the Silent Sorrow, let's go. It's on and cracking. No, slide. Ow. Ow. God damn it, I gotta start sliding. I can't slide past it. Fuck. Okay, maybe it's jumping. Ow, dude, jumping's not helping. No, killed me. Exemplaris excommunicationis. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming it means you died, dummy. Oh, that's cool. I love the fucking respawn animation. Press right trigger to dodge. Use the dodge action to crouch through small spaces. Avoid physical attacks and pass through enemies without suffering damage. I was not able to pass through that enemy. I tried. I definitely did that. I might have been between dodges. There's a time. There's a cooldown on it. It feels like it's not instant. What's that? Is this my oh my old spirit? Guilt fragment recovered. Okay. Gnarly. All right, we got this. We can do this battle. Come on. Warden of the Silent Sorrow, show me what you got. Ow. Come on now. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, this is how you do it. Slide. Slice, 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 jump. Slice, 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 slide, slide, slice, 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 jump. Slice, 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 slide. Slice, 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 slice. You're done. Get out of here. Requiem Aeternum. I don't know what it means, but it's cool. Super dramatic. Lots of Latin. Oh. Am I taking that off? Ooh! Okay. Oh, this is fucked up. I am a fucking brutal warrior, apparently. I will fill my helmet with the blood of my enemies. Jeez Louise, dude. Okay, I need to heal. I like that he just smashes blood on himself and wipes it. That's that's the heals. Also, the animations are sick. Oh, straight up Castlevania. Castlevania inspired, guaranteed. You need a key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Okay. What? What are you trying to tell me? Uh oh. I see. I like that that actually made sense. That was not like a... Sometimes stuff in pixel art games doesn't really make sense. We broke that capsule and a weight fell out of it and then that's what held the gate open. That's really cool. Hello. Regretfully the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. Okay. Why was the eldest brother in I anguish? Gracias. Witness to and narrator. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. Interesting. So you have to witness all this, whereas I, I don't get to talk. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This the cradle of affliction. The mother of mothers of the churches. Okay. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Ooh, forbidden door. A wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls.
I hope. What I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. Ugh. Okay. Ominous. And place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed, having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. Okay. Damn, dude, that is... That is some fucking ominous ass shit, if I've ever heard it. Okay, so let's go over here, let's save. Thank you. I need to go get the key to the door of the eldest brother. The fuck are you? Okay, you don't hurt crows. That's good. I just noticed this dead horse over here. There's a lot of pestilence in this land. God, the animations are so nice, though. Press the right bumper to parry. This maneuver allows you to counter weak attacks and deflect heavy strikes. During a counter, press the X button at the moment of impact to perform a retribution, increasing the force of the blow and stunning some enemies. Okay. Alright, let's give that a shot. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Okay. Ow. Ow, motherfucker, they just walk with knives. Walks with a knife. They just walk straight at you with knives. That's their move. Oh, 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 I hate this. Icky, 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 icky. Fatang Zufoils. Okay, you've acquired Verdialis. I didn't I missed that. In order to use this prayer, open the inventory and equip it. Brody Alice of the Forsaken Hamlet. Song that filled the air during the festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through walls, ceilings, harming the enemies of the pet penitent one. Uh, the ringing of a laced shell horn used to precede this chant, but now only silence remains. Alright, I'll equip it. Equip a prayer in your inventory and then press LT to invoke it. Prayers and some combat techniques use fervor. Attack and execute enemies to fill up your fervor bar. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. So it's like a super. Ow. How do I get up there? I need to be able to get up there. I want all the things. This forest is bleak. Yeah, there's Brawlhalla skills coming into play. The up airs. I need to use some down tilts. jump up there from here. Oh, wait, yes I can. Nice. I wonder if I could have jumped to that other one with the hang. I didn't catch that there was a hanging mechanic. I can straight up uh, edge guard. 
Press right trigger and X in the air to ascend after hitting an enemy. You can do this up to two times before landing. Okay. Ow. Oh, I see. Ah! One of 38, okay. You'll find them caged all over Custodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Children of Moonlight, okay. Okay. Let's get it started. Hot. I think the goal is eventually you're like trying to kill God. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back on those who wait here. Okay. Maybe we're just living in the end times then, if that's what it is. Thank you. What is this? This is pretty. This feels too pretty to be in this map. Hello. Oh, everyone's sick and dying. The plague has definitely done some. The heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kissers of wounds. Ooh. Okay. Few remain here who can still employ it. But Tirso is my name. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. Okay. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus, both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But okay. if your penance happens to carry you under set skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The ah, gotcha. The miracle shall show you which ones they are. Okay. So I'm going to look for, um, uh, like, plants and ointments and stuff for them. They're the kissers of wounds, dove skull. Oh, that's really pretty. Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. That's freaking cool. Okay, so there's my rosary. Skull of a bird drilled as a collet. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens the penitent one's defenses. Okay. I see I have two knots, and I only have the one thing right now, but that's cool. Dude, that's sick. So I have a rosary... I have, I think that's one of those incense burner things, maybe? Or maybe just a, a totem of some kind? Quest items. Mea culpa hearts. I don't know what that's for. Prayers. I've got those. You equip those. Abilities. Okay. These are all locked for now. And then collectibles. Okay. Cool. I think this is going to be a sick game. This reminds me it reminds me quite a bit of Dar uh, Dead Cells, but with a very cool atmosphere. I love this freaking setting. The Kissers of Wounds. Ooh, some of these folks are lepers, though, you. This feels untoward. Some of these folks seem like maybe they're um, doing this for a slightly selfish reason. Oh, this woman's got a leper baby. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go see what I can what I can explore first. What have we here? Dude, this art is so beautiful. And I love that fucking helmet. Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. Lend it to us and wipe away our tears. Okay. Because it is an act of penitence. 
Okay, there it is. Ooh. I have no idea what that just did. The virtue of mea culpa hath ascended. Visit mea culpa shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend tears of atonement to unlock combat techniques. Visit additional shrines and increase mea culpa's strength to access more powerful techniques. So can I like, oh, okay, so if I kneel here. Ah, okay, so this is how I get these. Weight of sin, it takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. Ooh, that's straight out of Dead Cells. Sacred thrust, the penitent one takes advantage of the dodge impulse to thrust mea culpa at the enemy's furthest away. Hold X while dodging. Uh, Sinful Wrath concentrates the power of Mea Culpa on the blade, allowing the Penitent One to release its full potential in a single but incredibly devastating swing. So it's like a big uh, swooping attack. Last words. The Penitent One performs a fourth combo finish attack. I think sh I should probably start with that, right? Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. So I have enough for this one or this one? Hold X or the down one? I think this because so far we haven't seen very many falls. So we'll get this first. So now we can go. That's lit. I'm I'm here for that. <clears throat> All right. Y'all quit kissing these wounds. That's not how you heal people. See, like this person right here. What are you doing? Are you trying to suck the pus out of this person's... That's gross, dude. That's not how you treat a sick person. I know that this is ancient times and you guys don't understand. This is worse than trying to use leeches. At least leeches are, like, somewhat more fucking sterile than your mouth. Okay. Whatever you say. Is it going to dip low enough for me to hit it with an up air, maybe? No. What is the point of that? I've got to get a double jump at some point. That's what it is. The music is beautiful. Phalanx of Brannon, the Grave Digger. It's a collectible. Brandon Joshua Mullins dug the graves of hundreds throughout his life, whether friend, family, or foe. But when the chaos arose, there was no one left to return the favor. Oh, poor Brandon. Wasteland of the buried churches. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting you to be a character. Shit, okay. <laughs> Ow, that did not help. Gross. Are you alive? <gasps> you are, I'm sorry. Okay. Dude, the setting is gnarly. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. They can just throw shit. Okay, here we go, wait. Got him. Ow! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Exemplaris excommunication Nazis or whatever the hell, I don't know. Jesus. She was just like, this is Sparta, dumbass. When the penitent one dies, erring in his penance, a guilt fragment is anchored in the world. The weight of guilt accumulates and reduces the gain of fervor and tears of atonement, as well as the maximum fervor. Collect guilt fragments to recover or find someone who can ease your burden. Interesting. Okay. I saw that last time. It's basically 
it's kind of the Dark Souls thing, like with souls or with salt and salt and sanctuary. Um, the idea is that you have to go and pick up your lost XP every time you die, and I get that. Hopefully, that that burden of atonement or whatever it is is not um, it's not on the spikes because that would be harder to get. Damn it! Come on now. I need to get used to this timing. I don't know why this is a person. Like, I, I, I know why it's a person. I don't know why I can hit those things. Okay, so there's no burden of atonement here. Oh, it's up there where I, where I took the hit. Okay. Huh, no, that's not helpful. Okay, hold on. Is there a way to get down there without hitting the spikes? Nope, okay, not like that. All of these are still living people. What the fuck? It's so weird. I know it seems cruel, but I'm putting them out of, your, out of their misery because they're just going to sit here and suffer. Ow! There we go. There's the timing I wanted. Oh, their shield makes it to where I can't slide. Okay, that works. Ooh, that's sick. That's fucking cool. If you deflect that one, it's so heavy that it just makes you go sliding. quick. I want to see what's down here. Ow! Yeah, get bucked, buddy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There was a Y. There was a, a finisher I could have done. It looks like I didn't press Y. I hit the are all these still living people? Yep. I don't know why, but yes, they are. Oh my god, you've got a deer. You've got a fucking deer in your hand that you're gonna hit me with, huh? Ow. Why? You cannot slide through enemies. Everyone's like, Ew. it said right there. It was like, yeah, you get to slide through enemies. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. not get to slide through enemies. Acquired uvula of proclamation. When the uvula is equipped, you have a chance of earning tears of atonement when destroying an object. Okay, cool. I'm building a rosary. It's fucking weird. Okay. So, I don't really need to go this way though, right? Because I've already done that. Let's see if there's anything the other way. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So far, 10 out of 10 on the atmosphere at least. Gameplay, I would give it like a solid 9 out of 10 so far. Ow, ow, ow. It freaks me out that all those people are still alive, but... Ow. Can I slide through you? Oh, I can, okay. So some enemies you can, some enemies you can't. That seems to be the goal, the, the, the lesson here. Once I get a double jump, I'll be in great shape for that.
What is this? Capitate of Barak, the Herald. Capitate of Barak, the Herald. Whether executions or lashings, Barak was always there to proclaim them loudly. But his voice broke down gradually as day by day he had to announce the sentences of his entire family. Gnarly. I cannot reach these guys. Oh, fuck. That's how you die. That's literally how you die. There's no ground down there. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, and I don't know, remember where the last prayer thing was. It was, like, forever ago, wasn't it? Yep, okay. Albero. Uh, it's alright, we'll just run through real quick. <coughs> Hello, folks, don't mind me, I've gotta go. that I... Ow! Wrong button. I just straight up hit the wrong button. Damn it! There we go, that's good timing. Now, let's see... If my, uh, if my... Guilt totem is still over there. Stop throwing rocks. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh shit. Ow. of 38. Ow. Alright, uh, let's go down real quick. We always want to explore if we have the chance. Now the question is, what's over here? There did look to be something down low over here, didn't there? Um, I don't see a way for that to work without a double jump. There's some fireflies right there, it looks like, but I don't think that's gonna help me. I need a double jump for sure. 
I hope I get one. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I do that shit on purpose. Oh, and, oh man, I need to... Okay, I need to stop exploring so much when I don't have a totem. I need to remember. Stop kissing those wounds. Wound kissers. How do I get up there? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know exactly how to do that. This should spit us out up there so we can... Oh, God damn it. Alright, well, I tried. And... Dude, we still have actually a long way to go before we get back to the guilt totem. I'm just gonna kind of speed run it a little bit. do this. Ow. Can I just jump over it? Haha. -ha. Did I go this way? Or was it up? I don't remember. I might be going the wrong way now. Uh oh, what Sister the fuck? Of mine, as I foretold you, someone is heading towards the Forbidden Gate. Someone who seeks the purge and excommunication of all that is sacred and rests there. No, no. Do not place your doubts on me. I am ready. I guess if you think so. Mercy dreams. Let's keep going down real quick. Yeah, they can't resist a Castlevania reference. You gotta be able to hit all the lights. Okay. Oh, the music here is sick. Oh, thank God. Oh, fuck. Ow. Ow, how much health do you have? Too much. That's not much. Oh, I gotta start remembering to use my charge move.
No, I was not trying to get on the ladder. Done. Ooh! Ooh! That was sick. Okay, that was sick as fuck. What do I do? I go, zoop, and then I duck. I go, zoop. Oh, fuck. Ow. All right. Well, it seems like we've reached the, the part where it's going to start getting real tricky and hard, so we'll call this a good intro episode, and I hope you guys are enjoying this game of Blasphemous. My name is Gummy Worm Jim. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. It is currently Christmas Day. This is basically the little... This is my little treat to myself for Christmas. It's... I've been looking at this game for a hot minute, and now I get to play it, so... I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!